let's take a look at a company that's providing local jobs and keeping our families employed because their product is made on Long Island. One of the biggest work with BGA technology doing is about what is known as a counterfeit detection. Uh, we have seen there is a massive influx of the counterfeit components into the semiconductor market, which is causing enormous amount of losses and there has been new, new regulations and laws which the federal government is making in order to prevent these counterfeit parts getting into the mainstream. The first stage of the counterfeit detection is inspecting the samples. We do a microscopic inspection of both the top and the bottom and there is what is known as the marking permanency because one of the ways counterfeiters do is take a used component, sand it off, coat it to the black top, remark it and sell it in the market as though it's a brand new product. A lot of them fail at this stage. If it successfully passes this stage, then we go to the next stage of doing an X-ray and the same component. So let's go to the X-ray machine right now. This is a 90 kilovolts X-ray machine where it can penetrate through the entire die and take it kind of a give us an idea of the skeleton inside the semiconductor chip. We place the component inside. What we are seeing is inside the plastic mold right now. It's a kind of a forensic science in a way. One should have an understanding of how does the data sheet look, what does the data sheet say, and is there any way we can compare the data sheet to this x-ray. So if it passes this stage, is it good? No, not yet. Not yet, there is one more stage, there is one more stage. What we basically do is we take this component and we do what is known as a decapsulation. We have chemically etched and opened a window to have a direct look at the silicon dye which is inside the chip. So it requires about 500x magnification to see this, but I'll put it onto a TV screen and show it to you. This is what you are seeing a mark on the dye at 500x magnification. So there's a very clear indication that the company which has manufactured this component is called Xilinx, a counterfeiter. Right now, as we know, has not gone this far. It is not that it is not thinkable, but the question is, it's extremely expensive, and it requires, and finally what it should work also. <laughs> Proof of pudding is in eating, that means that component has to function. What it is supposed to do, that means it is supposed to function in some electrical or electronic circuitry. So what we do here is we test the component on the electrical parameters that is defined in the data sheet. This small box is capable of testing any component, analog or digital. There's AC parameters, there's DC parameters, there is functional, there is uh, reading, there is writing. So we discuss with the customer, okay, these are the 100 parameters that are in the data sheet. What do you want us to do? At that point, it becomes between a quality and the cost requirement. And they said, you know what? We would like to have these, these, these tests done, because this will sufficiently define the component. Once the test is completed, the data is captured on this spreadsheet. Every column is a different parameter. Let's say, for instance, somebody sent you 1,000 pieces. So you randomly choose 125 pieces and detail inspect 125. When you look at all that in X-ray, if all of them have the same die, the probability is, you know what, either all of them are bad or all of them are good, but there is other problems in that. But if there are one or two are different, then you just shut the lot and say, there's a lot inspection, we reject the lot. I thank the viewers for visiting the BGA Test and Technology, where we do the reballing and counterfeit detection right on Long Island.